Okay, here's my last question for you. And I don't think you've been asked this question before as explicitly. So I want to, uh, to see your answer to this. Uh, has Peter Thiel, being the founder of Palantir, played any major role in your investment thesis? And how do you overall think of him, given he's very silent about the company? He, I, I think that he has said nothing public about the company in really years. Um, how do you think of Thiel as a founder of Palantir and overall his role currently in the company? See, I think Thiel being the founder of Palantir is one of my core reasons that I invested. Mm. Okay, because I mean, anyone who has grew up in in nineties and I mean has saw the rise of dot com era, and this you start seeing who are the successful people, you start following them, and you follow them for for years, and you make up your mind. So first is I I like his kind of thinking more in terms of what he thinks of society and technology in general moving forward. He's a kind of a person who is more optimistic about future than, and he says that we need to do something to maintain that kind of optimism. Right. So, so more as a overall thinking level. I, I, I mean, I, I, and you know, Palantir is not my only Athil investment. I mean, I have some investment other. I have one investment, which is via Athil Capital also. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, if it is no, he's not speaking about uh, Palantir. I think that in a way it's it's good. See, yeah, he's a controversial you. figure from Silicon Valley. Okay, because uh, see, Silicon Valley is a religion. It's a cult. If you're part of a cult, you are religion. You just cannot say anything against your God. That's how yep. the every religion work. Okay. Yep. And uh, what it preaches, it preaches that you should have diversity. You should have question is why you have diversity. I mean, I worked in Shlamaja because I felt it was the most diverse company of my time. You want diversity so that people can discuss opposing views in a safe environment. Can you do that in Silicon Valley? No. Mm. Yeah. You can have people from different races, from different countries, from different colleges, as long as they speak the same thing. Okay, this is I am fundamentally opposed. Right. Okay, and that is also the point. I mean, I'm I'm not a conservative guy. Okay, uh, but that is where so thinking wise, if you ask me today, I'm more aligned with what Alex Carp is or what Peter Thiel is. Okay, so uh, but like I said, this has been uh, made very popular today. The kind of issue I was discussing in mainstream media, in liberal politics. Okay, in Silicon Valley. So he is controversial from that point of view. So do, do you also feel that Teal kind of just doesn't lose ever? I mean, he has rarely lost on any major investment or decision. See, everyone made. loses. Everyone loses. And I'm pretty sure that Teal has more failures than his success. I can assure you that part. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we don't know about them. That's a whole different thing. The thing is, when he is successful, he's successful by such a huge margin. That it overshadows everything else. Right. Okay. I mean, if you will ask Peter Thiel this question, he will tell you that 90% of his money he probably would have made in four or five investments only. Right. Okay. Well, he has done thousands of investments over his time. Okay. So I'm 100% certain he has had a lot of failures. I mean, if you ask me, Ilan, Ilan has had a lot of failures. The question is, what you learn out of those failures and how you implement that in future? And that's right. where a certain person is, is being different. Like if anyone has followed the story of X.com and PayPal, everybody understand that everything was not good between Peter Thiel and Elon Musk. They had their issues. Despite that, Peter Thiel was one of the earliest investors in SpaceX. Right. Okay. So you need to understand that when we talk about like you can have beef, that is a different thing. But these people are built different. They understand I don't agree with it, but I understand why he is like that. Hmm. And that's a very rare quality to have. Okay. And that is a, that is a kind of a quality as of today, we are not nurturing in, in lot of companies, including in Silicon Valley, where we just say, okay, this is right. This is wrong. And if you're not with me, then either you are Nazi, you are fascist, you are white supremacist. And then you pump articles in media to kind of, so, I mean, yeah, so it's, it's a, so, so uh, the sh in short summary is if you talk about like Alex Carp or if you talk about like Peter Thiel in general, they are polarizing figures. 
okay now when you are a polarizing figure so so for example you are doing something i don't like amit okay but i cannot criticize you because it's personal right so how would i criticize you i would say i your i don't like you because your you are doing something in field of surveillance which is unethical right uh, um, uh, what liberal media was doing in terms of surveillance for last two years they are the same so the thing is that you need to see the hypocrisy at times also okay uh, then at times the way they speak it looks very brash very arrogant and very dismissive of critics because to be honest there is no rule which says that you have to entertain every bullshit that is said about you yeah you have limited time so but what happens that then the people so they are polarizing figure we should criticize them on the issues of privacy and surveillance we should uh, be accuse them of being arrogant and dismissive and uh, all of, i mean if you are so worried about polit- i i don't see anybody from uh, liberal side accusing uh, mark zuckerberg on the privacy mm-hmm. guidance on uh, on on threats yeah so the, so the thing is like when somebody has been been uh, in portrayed in negative say you take a step back and you say okay let me see uh, is it propaganda or is it real right okay i don't see any criticism of uh, sam bankman fried for last 2 3 months yeah. as what happened so so you have to be very clear that the game is being played at a different level but so there is always be a drag of that on palantir as a company but over the time people are also realizing that yeah i mean it's been there all the time but the company is doing good so that's the feedback i get from executives okay when covid happened they needed solution today everybody went to palantir okay when the company is in disarray they need solution so i have a very i mean like in, in one of the company i know that they were not using palantir they nobody is in talking about it and they had this person he was on a board of a certain company which was using palantir and i was having discussion and they said you know i have heard good things about it but the person will not talk about palantir in in their own company right right okay so so that is a that is a drag that will exist but at some point of time people will say ki yeah uh, we'll work with with anyway and you know sometimes what happens like when one person is working it gives you confidence to work with them also right so if more companies will work in an industry it will be open other people will also be open okay and right. you know if scandals are worried then i mean people should not be working with goldman sachs and jpm also yeah okay so uh, see there is a there is a there is this 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 populist culture okay and over the time you know like every other culture it has its peak and then it will tone down that's how i see things Yeah, I think even cancel culture as a concept is starting to get so much pushback that you've got people on the left that are getting canceled and they're like, "All right, this is ridiculous." So See, sense. the reason is you know, people realize, now it's not about ethics or right or wrong. It is turning into a religion. Yeah. It is turning into a cult. And to be fair, not a very good religion and not a very good cult. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's an opinion. I mean, this is how I think. I'm not saying this different people can think differently about it. This is how I think. 